Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another response video. This time, I uh, saw this uh, little post by uh, Carrie Justich, Carrie whatever, and apparently the uh, U.S. bobsledder Olympic girl from 1987, no, sorry, 1887, um, she's having problems dating. It says, Lolo Jones, 38. <laughs> Here, okay. Hearing about a 38 year old woman is like thinking about like a, a 50 year old car. And it's not like one of those sexy like re redo cars. It's like, you know, like a Model T that's kind of rusted out in the middle of a swamp. Like, ugh. let's just like move it along and get it out of the way. So a new niche, a new environment for something more useful, like an 18 year old female can uh, spend time in the news. I would rather have Carrie Justich tell me about like write news articles about different 18 year old tomboys and goth girls in my local area. But instead, I have to read about 38-year-old used-up Lolo Jones opening up on the difficulty of dating. Quote, you give up on hope. I'm not sure giving up on hope is dating as a woman. You're literally getting approached. Like, you give up on hope because you couldn't choose a man in like 20 years. From 18 to 38, 20 years, not a single man that met this woman was good enough. Now, where, where do Olympic athletes hang out? I bet this chick was approached by Olympic athletes and they weren't good enough for her. Why? Because, you know, she listened to some of the traditional advice. She, she's still a virgin. I'm a virgin till marriage. Okay, that's useful when you're young and valuable. But when you're, if you're an old female, I don't care if you're a virgin. Yeah, yeah you have the ability to pair bond with your first, with your first schlong. But you live life as a nun. And your actual narcissism, your actual self evaluation like what you think of yourself, you were so good. You, were, you thought you were such hot shit. You literally did not meet a man in the Olympics, in the Olympic environment, at the Olympic camp that met your standards. But here's the problem. She probably wanted a dude that would wait to have sex until marriage. Okay. And was jacked like an Olympian. Because she, she understands that these Olympians wanted to smash her. So she's like, oh, well, if I could get schlong from an Olympian, then the, the Christian guy who wants to wait to smash me, he should have the abs of an Olympian. How the fuck is that supposed to work out? I don't feel bad for these women. Let's read the actual situation here. Let's see. Lolo Jones. She says, oh, I think this is her Instagram. Yeah, so uh, we have a news article story about a chick's Instagram post. Classic. She says, LOL, time to life rant. I have options, but for the first time, I'm really bored with dating. Is that options? Yeah, options. But the first time, I'm really bored with dating. Yeah. A 38-year-old woman is bored with dating. You are the person that receives all the attention. You are the person that receives all the money. Maybe you're bored with dating because you're not getting the same kind of alpha dudes that make your pussy tingle as the same ones that came up to you when you were a 20-year-old Olympian. See, now that dudes that are coming up to you aren't attractive anymore, dating's boring. You see... Back when I could just take money, resources, and attention from attractive alpha dudes that really want to form a family with me or have sex, whatever it was, I enjoyed turning them down sexually because I, I like to have a, you know, this chick likes to turn down high value men because it makes her feel good about herself. Everybody wants me. But now that she's old and wrinkled, now that she looks like the Wicked Witch of the West, um, had a kid with Donald Trump, and then they, like, you can use a smooth face app on her wrinkles, right? She's upset. Oh, uh, Giga Chad isn't approaching me. Snowboard Chad isn't coming up to me. Olympic Chad isn't calling me up because you're 38. You're not attractive. I don't care how athletic you are. You are 38. She says, look, I'm no spring chicken. I'm 38 years old. Okay, grandma, move along. See, if you had a daughter 20 years ago, today, she'd be good for me. Or no, if you had a daughter 18 years ago, She'd be good for me. If you had a daughter 20 years ago, that bitch is too old for me, bro. So 20 years ago, you have a daughter. She's too old for me. What do you think? I think of your old atrophic lack of estrogen post wall ass. Nasty. She says, I'm not at an age where I could pretend like in my 20s. Oh, I'm not looking for anything serious when I was totally wanting to get married at that age. That's the problem. You have these females who have one or two standards like, oh, I want to be a virgin until marriage. And they don't, they're, they're not smart enough to realize. Really, the biggest thing is they are too proud to realize they are worth less at 30 than 20. Try telling a bitch in your life that when she's 30, 
Less men are gonna want her when she's 20. She's gonna be triggered. So, ah, but I got a job. I got a chemical engineering degree. I got a PhD. I'm an educated woman. I live in a city. I eat Thai food. I don't care, bitch. Them eggs are dry. Ugh, dusty eggs in the wind. I'm feeling parched right now thinking about a 38 year old bitch's eggs. It's not good. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. We need good eggs only, you know, a good eggs only shirt. I like the good pussy only shirt, but maybe there's one that's just like, uh, where are all the good eggs? Where are all the moist eggs? All these eggs are dry, dry, old, useless eggs. They're dusty. The D you guys ever go to an old hunting cabin or an old whatever, and there's like cobwebs everywhere, spiders, and like you, you try to go in and then you basically take a step and half the damn thing falls down. That's like trying to go into a 38 year old woman's ovaries to look for some eggs, like going in there. Fucking cobwebs. Like, oh, God, the birth control pill. Ugh. Tequila from Girls Nights Out. Disgusting. Those that DNA is damaged. Those eggs are damaged. And I deserve better eggs. I deserve a real man. I deserve a real egg. And a real egg hasn't been sitting around in some old narcissistic bitch's pussy or ovaries for 38 years waiting to get fertilized. Man, how are you going to have a kid with an egg that's actually 50 years old? That's just, ugh. You know the picture of the kids that come out depressed? It's all these old women having these kids. <laughs> oh, here's a scientific fact. You'll like this one. Um, having a kid with a woman over 40 is just as bad for its genetics than having a kid with your first cousin. That study came out of New Zealand. And then you guys should just fully cover that study. They, I don't think a lot of guys want to go through statistics or like scientific papers, but just that once this, just say that to any bitch who wants to get pregnant in their forties, thirties, just sorry. Hey, um, you know, uh, would you think if you had a kid when you were 20 with your first cousin, is that bad? Yeah. They'll end up like retarded. Oh, okay. Uh, kind of like uh, bitches having kids over 40, huh? Exactly. She says, look, I'm 38 years old. I'm not an age where I get pregnant. I'm not looking for serious. I wa totally want to get married at that age. Yeah. She totally wanted to get married at 20. How easy. Now, Lily, if I was if I was a 20 year old Olympian female, getting married is literally the easiest thing I could have done. I could have had dudes lined out the fucking door every day of the week. I could have seen 10 guys a day. Okay, but what does she want? Okay, now he's like, why couldn't she find a guy that was good enough for her? It's either she thought that she was actually too good for any man living on Earth, which is a very real possibility. How programming will do that to you, or she just liked the attention. She liked people chasing her and she never felt the need to settle down because despite what she said, I really wanted to get married when I was 20. I really want, all these bitches will say the same thing. It was my dream to have kids in a marriage when I was 20. It just didn't happen. I just broke up with like three or four boyfriends in my 20s and you know, life moves on. But you know, it was my dream to have my kids. F shut the fuck up. Sit down and shut the fuck up. If you can't, if you, hey, if you say, it was my dream to get cream pied by a simp in my 20s, but I couldn't do it. The only reason you couldn't do it is because you would have rather gotten creamed by bad boys and think you'd get the simp when you were 30. This chick thought she was going to get an Olympian simp when she was 40. I don't even know. Maybe some like Olympian simp trainer. Who knows? Olympian simp wanted to make kids with her when she was attractive. Because Olympia, simps understand, men will understand old women, I mean, they don't understand, they know, old women aren't attractive. Good pussy only, GPO. I'm not interested in 38 year old Pungiti. Although, to be quite honest, I'm roasting this chick. This chick is 10 million times more attractive than Donovan Shart's wife. Yet, uh, Mr. Fake Red Pill's got half of the manosphere coming over here, um, watching him fondle his nuts while different bulls enter his wife. It's disgusting. I'm roasting a 38 year old Olympian. Like, look, I am roasting a woman who is younger than his wife and who is the definition of peak physical shape because he's a narcissistic entitled thought. What do you think I think of fat white woman? Literally, like, it's like these fat white women have seen more African schlong than those poor Nat Geo, you know, the first film crew to go through Africa and all the tribes of naked African dudes run up to them. Black schlongs flipping through the wind in the trains. And all these dudes had nothing to do but record black schlong for decades. This bitch has seen more black schlong than that camera. Ugh. Ugh. It's so gross. Okay. But this entitlement. Every every chick has the same kind of virus. This is the 38-year-old Olympian. She says, 
it's hard to date. It's always the same story, picking between two extremes, right? She says, one guy is a Christian guy, one guy is not. Okay, if her standard is virginity till marriage, she literally just called a Christian guy an extreme. Aren't you looking for a Christian guy who is going to wait until marriage? Yeah, you're calling him extreme. She's probably calling him extreme because he doesn't give her the right kind of tingies, the tingles, because, you know, the traditional Christian aren't typically bad boys. So she wants the bad boy Christian Chad to pick her up on the motorcycle, but not like, you know, smash a puny tea. And the, I just, this is just, yeah. She says, yeah. So basically, I just have phone calls. I get bored because I feel like I'm never going to meet anyone in person. Dang, I'm losing my, my the last prime year of my life to lock down my husband before my face melts. And she's laughing. At least she's at least she's know about it, right? She's like, this is my last prime year to, to get a husband before my face melts. Bitch, if you said that 10 years ago, I might have I might have been somewhat on, on board. A decade ago. You've been low value for a decade. But I guess women like this were born low value because they were born with the right kind of genetics to make them fail the feminist shit test. Because even if she has a husband and kids, those kids, as we know, are going to be just as bad as any kids with their first cousin. Spurgling kids. Retarded fish frog babies. I don't care how hot a woman is. I, I don't care how rich she is. If, I, if my progeny are going to be genetic, um, genetically poor, genetically impoverished, because their mother decided to whore around for 20 years instead of have kids when biology told her to, that's not an attractive woman. In fact, I would say that um, women who think they could sleep around and waste their decades of their youthful fer fertility, they're just, you know, when they freak out, like this, this girl freaking about having no man, this girl freaking about having no kids, it's just fragile femininity. Femininity, so fragile. This fragile femininity, is just basically when women just they buck up and they get offended because they make the wrong choices to be a feminine woman. A feminine woman submits and has a lot of kids, gives her husband a lot of kids. Anything else that stops women from submitting and having a lot of kids is cope. You're coping with the fact that you're not feminine. I, I don't care. You, I don't care if a woman's feminine or not. She could be a masculine turbo slut and fuck me and all the boys and then fuck off. But then they, the demand for them to be treated like a woman, the demand for me to call them feminine, nah, bitch, your femininity is, first of all, it's non-existent. And second of all, if it did exist in any kind of plane of existence, it is so fragile that an eight-year-old obese fat kid's Dorito fart would probably shatter it. It's been Undead Chronic, guys. Take it easy. Hey, guys, it's Undead Chronic, and I have some great news. The Chronicles comic book is finally in the works. Let us celebrate, my brothers. But we need to keep this momentum going. We need to fund the pilot comic book. And it, we are so close. We are so in range. So if you want to fund the Chronic Chronicles comic book, consider donating to paypal.me slash the chronic. Make sure you tell me in your description that you're donating for the comic book and I could send you some of these dope draw line arts like this. What we got here, Ribby, has been hitting the gyms. My man's deltoids are as big as his damn waist. But Chronic, wielding the sword of red pill, is here to cut through the cucks. Now the pilot for this comic, the first comic for the Chronicles, is uh, the escape from the Google Gulag, where Ribby's going to help Chronic bust out of the censorious prison. Um, you know, slay some cucks, roast some feminists, all that good kind of stuff. So again, if you want to fund this comic book, consider donating to paypal.me slash theundeadchronic. We gotta keep our artists blazed, my boy!